I wanna put you in my life Forever, forever 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 Be a me love when you wind on the pipeline what is going on welcome back to the he say she say podcast we are your host chef v we didn't even discuss who was kicking off the podcast with the intro today so i guess it was her <laughs> but yeah it's your boy sim we'll be back again for yes. another week of discussions um firstly you want to apologize this was supposed to be our saturday but y'all gonna get a sunday yeah right. technical one day one day behind on, yeah control. It's all right, though. It's all right. We here, though. Uh-huh. We are here. So talk to us. So, what's going on? What's going on? Okay, so we're doing week? what's going on first. Uh-huh. So the most important thing is what's going on on social media right now. What was it? it That's was the, the most important thing? The inauguration. All right. The inauguration kicked yeah. off. Um, luckily, it was pretty safe. It was pretty smooth. Yeah, congratulations to the Americans. You got to be Michelle. president. Auntie Michelle. Oh, she yes. Let's talk Michelle about Auntie Michelle. Obama she, she came out with yeah. the mo- Monochrome. I thought she was outfit. president. Nah. Right? With the hair bouncing and slay, like the hair was the top. I know she was in the back of the mirror just like, you know, yeah, the like past making sure everything's still right. She came out by I think that was the whole theme. Everybody had um well all the women looking, Well, the the important women there. I, I feel like the underlying message there was like, yo, we wear the pants now kind of oh. thing. Like, I feel like <laughs> they don't want to say, but I feel yes. like that's what it was. Congratulations to our American followers. You had your first black female vice president yeah shout out to kamala harris congratulations no. on that time to do work no so, wait wait what oh, oh time, yeah, to, time do to do work, work. Oh, okay, true, 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 time true, to do work true. you feel me get into it true and then my favorite part of the inauguration watching was that poem by amanda gorman mm, shout out to powerful. her um she went from one hundred and fifty thousand followers on ig to two point mm-hmm. seven million Congrats to her. Her books is now number one on Amazon. That's and dope. I'm a lover of poetry, and I've watched her poem at least 20 times now simply because... Really? Oh, yeah. Like you, yeah. It is... It, it was is, that powerful. It was that good. Like, her, her delivery of mm-hmm. it, the message behind it, the wordplay. Like, it was thoughtfully written. It was intentionally written. Like, everything that she said in there was just deliberate. And, and she's a she's the youngest poet, right? And black women yeah. like representation in all facets matter. You know. And she said something in there. She said, There is always light if we are brave enough to see it and if we are brave enough to be it. I hope I didn't say it wrong. But Can that check. That was good. Let me, let me just no, fact yeah. check it for real. Just let me just let me make sure I got it right. Mm-hmm. I know I saved it somewhere in my notepad. Yeah. Yeah, she was, said, oh. for there is always light if we are brave enough to see it, if only we are brave enough to be it. Mm. And, you know, that that's my favorite line in the whole poem because it's like we we tend to focus so much on the darkness when we can literally be the light of ourselves. It just takes a little bit of courage to step out of that comfort zone and, you know, actually shine through and present the light to that dark patch or whatever the case may be. But apply it where it must, but that poem was beautiful. She did a yeah, great job. It really was. Okay, so um, we're gonna switch on? we're gonna switch gears a little bit. Uh-huh. Um another thing that was popping off was we finally got the Keisha Cole versus or Ashanti versus Keisha Cole Shout versus Shout out to them. Shout out to them. The energy wasn't given what it was supposed to give. We can yeah. all admit that. You know, it was I it was a lot off. of people coming for Keisha Cole. I'm a Keisha Cole. Did you watch? Did, first I, of all, I, did you watch? I looked at No, but you see, you, you can't give nah, I'm just your saying, opinion I'm just if you saying, didn't watch the whole thing. A lot of people are coming for Keisha Cole. However, we're not going to do that right now. Why? Because. We're not coming for her, but I'm just like, people waited. I know, I understand that it was free. You know what I'm saying? We were watching <laughs> from home and it was free. However, like, people had this expectation of the verses, mm-hmm. right? And we already waited over a month because Ashanti wasn't caught like COVID. No, true. But that's not the problem. The problem is It was that, postponed twice, wasn't it? Yes. Right. So, but exactly. People's time. And then... To come on almost two hours late because you felt like 
the whole setup wasn't to your no, standard. Yeah, on time, and then the next thing too was that she came on with an attitude. Like we we the fans out here weren't the problems. So I don't think we deserve the attitude. I understand human nature and all of that. But at the same time, you you can't we already been waiting two hours. You can't come on with a stank. And it's you. It was it wasn't nice. It wasn't cool and it threw off the whole vibe. And like it was like <laughs> We already know their songs. That's why we stayed and we jammed same way. But it's like I felt like it. It it was like okay. I could have played all this on my 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 iTunes, my Spotify, mm -hmm. and you could y'all could to have stayed. Fair, to be fair, to Keisha, it was postponed twice. Twice that wasn't. Same, but you're not getting the. I'm point. not finished. Okay, go. So twice that wasn't her fault. Secondly, she wanted a uh, in person versus. Had okay. verses been in person, had her wish been granted, then the So you're saying her attitude to her to I'm come on with that was warranty. But I can see where, you know, she wouldn't feel, you know, up to it in a sense. We can agree to disagree, but I feel yeah. like the point was People are sitting at this spot for two hours excited right. for it finally to happen. It doesn't matter. First of all this is how the verses started anyway, mm -hmm. to stay home. Like, that was the whole point of it, to mm -hmm. stay at home to do it. So to say you were there the entire time, you saw people sitting there for almost two hours because you felt like it wasn't up to standard, and then come on, with like, all right, y'all, let's get into it, yeah. Hey, yo. Um, let me be the one. Let me be the one. Like, but, um, come on. Yeah, she could have done yeah. that. Yeah. But, but I'm going to leave it at that. It was many nights, y'all didn't let Keisha Cole go to sleep when y'all were having boyfriend problems and y'all needed those songs to play up in your head. So. Um, so she, she, was she singing the song individually? Matter. Like, what? Are you kidding me? Shout out to Whatever. Shantae. Yeah, it was, it was good because we knew the song, but that's it. All right. Mm-hmm. Anything else? No. We well, I on? can Yeah, we can move on to the right. topic. <laughs> so, this week's topic is an age-old discussion that seemingly comes up in every conversation every time you have a girl and guy group together they tend to talk about the whole dating scene mm. right and dates dates range from any any topic like it's a bunch it's an umbrella topic and you find people talking about the cost of dates the thoughtfulness behind dates mm. you know the first day discussion. second day what do they mean where should you go what should you do so it's a ton of things that mm -hmm. you know people tend to talk about when it comes to dates okay so you where are we going, going on dates with... of course like who... i miss going on dates i do we used to do these little weekly dates we do uh, that. every other week where you know sometimes it'll be the movies or we go out to eat and thanks to it COVID, was, we haven't done that in a minute. At all. Yeah. Like, usually we'd be know, like every week or every other yeah, week. We'd be we like, oh, nice. go out, chill, go. relax, just, you know, just something to get out the house and enjoy, like, a different atmosphere and company. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. So, where are we going with this dating topic? So, all right, first date. Where do you, like, what's the ideal first date for you? For me? Yeah, like, if you was to picture your fantasy first date, what would it be like? Okay, so first of all, well, fantasy, like, I don't think I have a fantasy first date because I've been on different types of dates. But um, I'd say for me, it would have to be what I like to do. I'm a talker. Mm -hmm. I like to eat. I know a lot of people, like, even that was a discussion about, oh, taking to a restaurant isn't a first date. But it's like if the person prefers that, are you going to say it's not an ideal first date? First of all, I... As I said, I love to eat. I'm a talker. I feel like restaurant setting, once the drinks get flowing too, like not a lot of drinks, you know what I'm saying, but with a little bit of wine here and there, a little bit of cocktail, I I am more freely. I up. Yeah, I open up. I talk more freely. Mm -hmm. And my stomach is full. Good company, if mm -hmm. your company is good. So I'll get, to get, I'll get a feel of the person. So my ideal first date is... A restaurant setting, then we go on a walk. A walk, walk, walk. I know you like to talk, but let me see. You can walk. What are you <laughs> walk. Yeah, so it's like that. That for, that for me, that is. I don't have a fantasy, fantasy, nothing extravagant because I want to see and talk to you as a person. No noise interruption, no nothing. Just me and you facing yeah. each other. I'm looking in your face, and we talk, and our stomach is full, and we get little cocktails running and ish. Yeah, yeah. I've, I'm, I'm kind of the same. I like dates where you know there's a conversational aspect of it where you can talk because for me i'm i'm using that first date as a 
a and judge I, in a sense okay. to see like can I actually have conversations with this person? Mm -hmm. Do they have conversations of an intellectual nature? Like we're gonna talk about different things. I'm gonna get to know you. I need to make I need to know like, you know, we're at least able to have proper conversation because conversation is the basis for mm -hmm. everything. So going forward, can you talk? Right? <laughs> can you talk? <laughs> I need to know um, you can talk. And um wherever that setting may be, um, you know, you don't like the first date I don't feel should ever be at a club, at a party. Because yeah, it's just so that, that's that what to me. That like, I, give I don't know you anything. Time to learn a person, talk with a person. I mean, we could meet at a club. Yeah, like that's the first here. time, like yeah. first impression. But yeah, it's like while we're going that, to like, date, you know, yeah. I need to know that I can talk to you and have conversations with you. Right. right? So with that being said, if you have a horrible first date. Is there opportunity for you? No, day? for me personally, that's it. Like, I know people say second chances, all of that, but I've never been on a second date with a person that I had a horrible first time experience Actually, with. You've had some terrible first dates. No, what do you know about me? I watch your YouTube. No, I did not go out. <laughs> okay, so on my YouTube channel, <laughs> on my YouTube channel, my first story time was this date that I went on um, to the movies. First of all, see, that was not an ideal day because you're watching a movie, but the person wanted to be all touchy-feely, not touching me in an inappropriate way, but like put the, his arm around the back of my chair and all that, but I'm not totally, totally into you like that as yet, so I don't want you to be rubbing on me and staring in my face and all that. Well, it depends on how much you're feeling the person because a lot of times... When you just meet a person, you just know that mm -hmm. where you want to yeah. go with this person. Okay. But with that person, it was like, I'm just starting to feel you out. You're staring at me in the movie theater. I am laughing because I yeah, think it was watch like, the movie. Yeah, yeah, like, watch the movie. Shut and up. you see, that's not a good time to talk or express or all of that. So you're staring at me. It's making me uncomfortable. It's a comedy. I'm trying to laugh and enjoy this thing, but I feel so uncomfortable with you just staring and trying to touch on me and all of that, like... No, and then the person bit me. <laughs> like nibble, like it was, it was supposed to be a nibble, but it his teeth were sharp, and he bit me, and it's like, what the heck? Did you did you walk out of the movie theater? No, I, no, I didn't. Like, why did you not? Yeah, like, why did you not? Like he he he, he felt vampire. Like, like he was trying to like, what, what's the, the? It was the, a movie? good movie. Okay, it was a good movie. That's all. And it was like, what the hell? It was more like a. I shrug off, but I proceeded I to, to just say, enter. Trying to imprint on you, but that's like the werewolf. Like, <laughs> that's weird. It was, it was, it was, but yeah, I was gonna let that ruin mm. the movie, but that was it. Never again. Okay. Talk to okay. that person ever. Um, me personally, I've not really had a bad first date, but I can imagine if I did. Um, depending on what went wrong, I think mm -hmm. there's room and sure. opportunity for a second. You know, unless you do something like we go to a fancy restaurant, you eating with your hands and burping and stuff, then you know. Okay, but you, nah, <laughs> like, it's, it's, a, it's a natural human. I understand. Oh, you, 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 you know, cover your mouth and then say excuse me, but if you eat what with your if hands, the person you know, has like, some type of gas problem, like, uh, are you gonna? Do I'm gonna judge, this? but you know, depending on. You know, <laughs> how we put it, it might be a one and done thing for real. It might be a one and done. You know what? Mm -hmm. To think of it, I've had, but I've had an experience with a first date where, it like, where it started off great, but it ended badly. But I still, I gave the person a second chance, and it led to a long term relationship. Mm -hmm. So, okay, I'm second guessing <laughs> that no, but it, but it had to have some good in, in there. Right. To make you can enough, feel enough. like you could look past fair the enough, bad parts. Yeah. All right. Should there be a waiting time in between dates? Like, you go on the first date, it's great. Do you want the person to say, hey, are you free tomorrow night? Is that raggy? First of all, I don't believe in rules when it comes to dating. Don't I don't believe fair. in rules, period. I'm not one of those women like, oh, you know, wait the 90 days or, oh, only once a week we could date or when you decide to drop them panties type of thing. Like, I'm I'm a no rule. It, I go by feeling. Mm -hmm. So, wait in between second date depends on how much you're feeling the person okay. for me personally. So, if it is that 
But then again, you don't want to seem like you're too clingy, so you want to you want to yeah. make sure you feel the vibe right. from the other I feel person. Like, I feel like guys tend to overthink this because we're thinking like, "Oh, is she?" You don't want to seem eager. Right? You don't want to seem like, "Oh, you sweating," mm-hmm. right? So it's like, all right, we went out this week. I'm not going to text her after the day. I'm going to wait till she texts me first. Um, but you know, a way you could play off that with with just starting to date somebody. How about like after the date is like. I had a great time. All of that. It's like I can't. I had so much, such a good time with you. I can't wait to spend time with you yeah. again. I didn't see what yeah, the other this, person this, says. This is, this is a key here, fellas. Let me show you how to finesse it real quick. Okay. This for the fellas. This for the fellas. Mm-hmm. Ladies, do not get the fellas a hard time because you're listening here and you taking tips, fellas. You hit them like, <laughs> I had such a great time with you. Let me know when you want to see me again. That way, you push the the, the onus onto them. For them to say, you don't have to make them plan a second date, but you make them come to you when they're ready to see no, you. No, but, but I don't want to seem eager. Like, I want right. to see the day after. Again, like, I, if I'm free, I want to see you the day after. So I don't want to be eager. So that's why I said, like, feel. So you tell me, so oh, you had a good time. Be, I had a good time. I can't like, wait to see you again. Well, I'm free tomorrow. But then when you say, oh, I'm free tomorrow, he was like, uh, I can't tomorrow. Like, damn. Like, I was eager. No, it seemed like I'm just... Yeah. Thursday for listen, this guy. You gotta make them sweat a little bit. You can't always get a woman what they want all the time. You, you see, them, that's their problem. Them Don't play no games. Nah, make them miss you a little song. Don't play no games. Let them, let them, let them take, it like a, take it like a few days. Like, she sending you a text. Like, you respond to the first two as the message come in. And Hell, you like, do wait, no. You wait like 10 minutes. No. You wait like 10 minutes. Just answer when you feel like it. No, me, I'm a bad texter. So, yeah, it's terrible, like. Terrible texter. I could text you back, like, in the next three And that would change, that would change after she got me, y'all. Uh, when, when we was first talking, as I pressed send, I was receiving the message. Yeah, because you're feeling different. the person. So, that's what I'm saying. Like, when you're feeling the person, it's like. The dates in between don't mm-hmm. matter if we're feeling each other and we feed off of each other to like, oh, we want to spend three times also the week together. Mm-hmm. But then if you want to put like two weeks in between dates, I'm going to feel like you're not that interested. For me personally, it feels like that. Yeah. Like you're just not yeah. that in Two weeks between, well, then again, yeah. it's like how busy you are. True, true, true. You got work schedules. Suppose a man working night and day and all the fun. True, true, true. You don't know what's going you're on. Right, you're right, you're right. But still, but, ooh, but a date doesn't have to be expensive, though. If I just want to see, I just want to hang out with you. We don't have to wait two weeks to hang out it's again. Not a date. It's me, no, it's hanging out. It's a little bit. But that could, be a, that could be a date. Who says not hanging out can't be a date? No, no, anyway, we, we talk about that. Okay. A bit later. okay. So, when it comes to dates, we talked about first day, second day, how long you should wait in between a date. And we talked about your ideal first day, right? Mm-hmm. Now, what date do you think is best for situations? Whether it is, a situation. you know, you first on? meeting the person, learning the person, as opposed to, okay, we've known each other for some time, now, now I want to learn other things about you. I think that, that comes out whenever you feel like it can come out. It depends yeah. on the type of conversation that you have on Cause, each date. Because you wouldn't, you wouldn't continue going on dinner dates. No, obviously right? not. So for me, well, I like, I like adventurous people. stuff. And so, like, stuff like escape rooms, like, those type of challenges or, you know, some fun activities. Because, no, it's like we passed the first date. I know you can talk. <laughs> yeah, you see, this is a problem, no, I true, know you true. can talk, but now I want to see Such other things. Talk. I want to see, like, would you go to a basketball game with me? Are you interested in any type of sports? Can, can I sure. take you to an arcade? Do you have that fun side? If... I can take you to an escape room where it's something a little challenging where you can do things like, you know, do you have any athleticism in you? Can I take you bowling? Mm-hmm. Like, you know what? That's a good idea because with dinner dates, as I said, if I like to talk mm-hmm. and I like the food, but it's like you're only knowing this part right. of me, what I tell you, as opposed to that is a good idea to take people on different types of date for each day to see yeah, how they are saying you don't waste time you don't waste time yeah later on you, you realize like this person we i really don't have much in common because all we talked about was like 
you know, my past, my future, all of that mm -hmm. on the first right. date or the second date would do, do the same thing. Right. I want to know if I take you to a basketball game, can you identify the pick and roll? No, what I can't you? do that. Okay. Yeah, but you can tell me, like, what's the layup. You can tell me. I don't know what the layup is, and I watch basketball so all the time. You point it on. Yeah, but the point, yes. Yeah, so you, about, you don't need to know everything, but then it's going to be some things like a point I'll teach you what you want to list to show any eagerness in the sport. <laughs> or if I take you to an art museum, can you, can you, no. like, tell me, like, okay, what? Why do you like this art piece? What 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 does it do for you? What like you know just you different see, things? Or if you like go to a, if you go to a museum, like if you could tell me like what's your favorite type of animal? Sorry, not museum, the zoo. Like what's your favorite <laughs> type of animal in there? Why do you like this? Like you know you get you get to learn a lot. Yeah, but you see stuff like that is so cringy because I watch basketball. Mm -hmm. I enjoy watching basketball, but the thing is, enjoying enjoy watching it doesn't mean I know all the technical of the sport right i enjoyed enough where i know the basics but you asking me questions and all of that it going to make me cringe a little bit because it's like do he does he like me anymore because i'm not into the stuff he's in nice. liking so, like watching that's, basketball don't mean i'm totally is, into it but i just enjoy it not no so they can talk not you all guys are like that. You know I'm that like too. That. I'll be like, yeah, you this is the pick and roll. So, and I'll give them. I'll give live. And that's what I love about you. You, like, you be extra as hell with these extra. Like, I'll do I didn't ask you. <laughs> I'll, tell you I'll tell you to stand there. Come here. I'm gonna go left. You go right. That you is pop so up, I pass you. you the ball. You shoot the three. Yeah, and that, 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 exact, that is what I love I'm gonna you. give you a story about how I used to coach the kids. Like, I'm gonna give you some history. So a lot of guys, they have this sexist mentality where it's like they get annoyed when the woman don't, doesn't know a lot of things about the things that they're into, like to say basketball or sports. Mm -hmm. So it's like if some guys took the time to actually explain it, if they see like their partner has an interest in it. So I, that was one of the things that I loved about you. You went the extra mile to explain to me the things you love to get me into it yeah. even though your explanations be while as hell i'm not trying to get into the sport i just want to know basic information uh, so you'll be doing a lot different because my basketball <laughs> as you see like my basketball roots and history and yeah you people i know it's like it's really deep in terms of the whole basketball like for example, you went to a Big Three basketball game. Most girls would not even go to a NBA game, let alone go into a three on three with some old retired players. That was but, fun. Yeah, though. you went there. We, say, we even got to say courtside and everything. Yeah. Else, and then you met Hall of Famer. Yeah. Right. So it's like she met oh Gary Payton. So it's like we was like it was a whole different experience for you. It's not like the old boring like. And that, it wasn't. TV it wouldn't have been something I chose myself to mm -hmm. do but then when i got there like he said oh big three i'm like oh okay yeah. but when i got there it was like a yeah, really it was good actually time cool, like you know throwback basketball game so mm -hmm. it varies and i mean even with you you've taken me on some days that i particularly wasn't like what? for but like you know i was like i i don't know what you're talking about mm -hmm. so unless you can't think of anything <laughs> There's some days that we went on where particularly it's like it's not my type of day. I don't know what he's talking about. Hey yo, Canada Wonderland Winter Edition. That wasn't my type of day. Oh, that was cute. <laughs> it was cute, right? But it's like it's not my type of it's not my this type of day. Winter Wonderland. It's it like, hey, yo, cute. if I'm gonna have you ziplining in Mexico, I gotta stop it off for Canada Wonderland. Yeah, because right? you know ziplining wasn't my thing. And you yeah, you took funny. me out of my comfort zone to zipline and it took, do all type of jungle it took fish. About Ten minutes stop on the zipline. Like, she was like, I can't do it, I can't do it. Like, no, it wasn't that long. Okay. Well, because the, the lady was in front of you. And she yeah. Like, <laughs> and then when you did it, it was I like, was glad I did. Yeah, it's not too bad. It so, changed yeah. my perspective. But it, you took, it took a while for you to get me out of my comfort zone with a right. lot of things. And you got upset here, Nick. You're like, oh, try if you try. You love yeah, it. Yeah, because like, the thing is, we came all this way out here. The, 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 thing, the, thing, the funny part is... You knew Ziploner was a part of the package, right? <laughs> I thought I could skip <laughs> like, it. We went, we went for the ATVs, we went for the Ziploner, we went diving in the Cenotes, and I was like, you knew Ziploner was part of the package that you chose, yeah, and then all of a sudden you get there, and I'm like, bruh. Come. In that moment, it taught me something new about you. You know what I mean? You got yeah. a little bravery in you, and <laughs> I got to see a little adventurous <laughs> side. You hopped in the back of the ATVs, you got muddy for the first time. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I wasn't expecting all that. So, you know, we learned something new. Yeah, so it's, it's very important to switch up the types of dates. Yeah, because you, you get to know the different things about the person. Yeah.
because different situations are going to bring about different results. You're going to learn different things based on the situation itself. Yeah, right? So as much as you love to eat and talk, switch up the restaurant scene with the yeah. dating. Do yes. you consider Netflix and pizza chilling at home a date? Apparently, I actually do. You said that earlier, yeah. Yeah, we did a lot of that. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that was a different time, though. That was a that was a, that, that was a different. Well, that time. was a broke college days. Yeah, that was a, that was a different time. So it was like yeah, we have four to be going on all the time yeah, so on all the of that. Netflix and the pizza. It was gonna be pizza regardless, depending on if I cook or not. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I do consider Netflix uh, and 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 pizza. I feel like I feel like those are more acceptable after you're with a person rather than pre relationship as i said i don't have any rules so if that would be your first date that's yeah. that's you like it yeah it i understand depend. that speaking of that you know what we forgot to do what the question of the day the question we can do that later yeah we can do yeah. that at the end. so it's like um i uh like i don't like pre-relationship you still want to know how the person sees you how the person values you in a sense so it's like you want to have, you want to know that they have some thought behind the type of dates that they're. Oh, choosing. so you wouldn't want it to be the first date? No, but then again, suppose it was the late, the girl that suggested, like uh, Netflix yeah. and pizza. Yeah, matter. Because we know we associate Netflix and Chile to yeah, we gonna Netflix, get to the get Netflix, down Netflix later is on. Netflix you know what I'm saying? You know, are but you still watching, looking at. Come on, Netflix suggests that. Are you still watching? Why are you still movie watching? On Netflix? <laughs> uh, what else will we be doing? So I know people associate that, but it's like if you if that's if that is the vibe that y'all are on for the first date, it's just what it is. You know Especially what I, if you're grown. You know what I figure out. It's just they, what it is. Found about Netflix though, that's funny. What? Before they'll ask you that question after like three, four episodes. No, they like, ask you so yeah, quick. They ask you like half through a movie. Like they'll be like, "Are you still watching? Like, bro, Mind your business, Netflix. Right? <laughs> so it's Mind like, your business." The value part of that is a little bit iffy to me because it's like you can always say no, mm -hmm. right? That's a that's supposed to be an option. So it's like I don't necessarily feel if like someone it's, tells you no to a date suggestion that you offer, you give them a second date. Like ask them what would they rather. No, nah, but if you what say if you say hey somebody you want to come over for a Netflix and pizza day and I said nah, I'm like. Okay, like, nah, like ask no, 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 be real. No, I would ask you if you do all of that, but if it is that you said no, I'd be like, okay, and then it's either you suggest mm -hmm. something, if he doesn't suggest something else, it doesn't have to even be the Netflix and chill pizza thing, it's mm -hmm. just a date, like you suggest study, and he says no without giving an explanation. I'm not gonna ask you again, mm -hmm. and I'm going to either stand the phone with for you to suggest something else. If you don't, I would get off the phone with you, even. Making a follow up date, I just take that as you're not interested. Yeah, yeah, either you're not interested or the ball is in your court because right. I suggested something. So I'm not gonna say anything until oh, you get back it. to me oh, okay. with a date suggestion. If weeks, if a week goes by, two weeks, Dang. that's it. I'm not texting yeah. you. I'm not so calling you. That's it. That's a long ass time I too. You, I feel that. I feel that. But you don't come I with a suggestion. Like, I feel that's like that's like if you turn on a date, then you probably. You either give a reason or you give an alternative. Exactly. Yeah. If you don't give none of those, I just know that. Mm. Anyways, moving on. Okay, so <laughs> since we talk, since we touched a bit on that topic, this is the age-old debate. Okay. Right? Age-old debate. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> who should ask who on a date? Should girls ask guys on a date? Should guys only ask girls? Should guys do all the work? I am not your traditional type of woman. Mm. I can only speak for myself. But I have made first moves before. Okay. Towards guys. Mm. I've, I've made first moves because it's like, I'm not gonna. Sometimes men are shy. I've dated shy guys before. So it's like, yeah. if men are shy or they don't know what you're feeling because sometimes I feel like I'm not that approachable. So I'm going to show you I'm interested. So there's different ways to show a person you're interested in, but I have had situations where I make the first move to be like, you know, not in so much words, but I'm feeling you. Let's go then, on Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've like, been, I've so been, I've, I've been done that. Time. I remember the first time a girl actually asked me on a date. Like, it was the weirdest feeling ever. Yeah. Because, like, we... It was that's not a party like 
like she was actually super aggressive kind of thing. Oh no, I'm not aggressive about it. Yeah, so <laughs> not, bad, so not like that in a bad way. Oh yeah, but I'm subtle. Way. So like everything was like her advance. Like we danced at a party. Mm-hmm. She's like, can I see your phone? Oh no. Yeah, she I dropped the number in there. No. Like cool. Next day, she texts me like, you want to go on a date? I'm like, all right, okay. cool. Like, you know, I guess I'm ready to talk. Yeah, it was like, yeah, that's, and that's... so we go out. It was movies and food. So we had. Did she the, pay? We had the movie. I mean, she she paid? wanted to pay for the tickets. She's like, no. <laughs> she, she's like, she's yeah, like, I'm she's like, no. I I got this. I was like, I'm I'm a confused because. <laughs> This was like when I was new to Canada, right? So I've never seen this before. Like I was new up here. I'm from the islands, like old fashioned. Dad always instilled it in my head, like, yeah, yo, this is how it is. Do this. So I'm pulling out my my wallet to pay for. She was like, no, I asked you. I'm like, yeah, oh, wow. that's fine. You know what? I didn't leave the car in there. I'm not gonna, because we were still transitioning into this. Like, you want to give women a chance to. You know, feel empowered and do their thing. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you rap. In my mind, now I'm like, yo, when we go to eat, before you even touch your card, like I'm pulling on my card. So we go out to eat, trying to pay. I'm, I'm reaching for my wallet again to go and pay for both. She's like, nah. I asked you all, and I was confused. Isn't it? <laughs> like it was just that it was just not naturally not normal for me. And I was just like, oh wait, shit, women actually do this. Like it was completely brand new. Um, when I say that I made the first move, I didn't mean like that. Oh, I, just made, just made I just meant, I just meant like flirtatious way, like to say oh, okay. I'm interested and then you got to give me something back, but I'm not going to take your phone, put my number in yeah. and all of that. It's like, I'm going to make the step towards you mm-hmm. and flirt and then I'll t- judge that by the energy you give back hey, yo, I went and then we move from there then you would take the lead from there but i didn't mean like <laughs> hey you want to go i'm that. gonna pay for it. no sir hey, not yo, me I, home, <laughs> I have the homies i was like hey yo this is what happened and i feel that type of way because like <laughs> yeah, like a little yeah I, I felt like yo who like like you know what I mean? Like who wearing the pants right now? But it was something like I got away eventually. You try to spend your money on me, not spend your money on me. I ain't tripping. <laughs> Look at I you. Know, yeah, you know, mm. I just stepped out of it because now it's like I understand where the concept came from. Back then, you know, women mostly weren't workers. They stay at home moms. So the old traditions was like the man is a breadwinner. They pay for everything. The women just show up, look pretty. But now there's a change in that dynamic. Women are working. They earn and They, you know, they feel empowered. So they want to show their empowerment. And I'm all for it. Buy me gifts. Okay. Cash Ooh. me out. <laughs> Cash me out. What happened? I don't know. So now that we touched there, mm-hmm. is it important who pays for the date? The first date, yes. Mm-hmm. To me, it is. Yeah. Even, I know I'm kind of contradicting right now because I'm like, oh, I'm not a traditional woman mm-hmm. and all of that. Mm-hmm. But I still got to keep some traditions in there. I thought that it was still got to keep a little bit of uh, 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 tradition in okay. there. Okay. If you ask me on a date, I'm expecting you to pay. Okay. I feel like the, the rule that I've developed with this is like, if I ask you out on a date, mm-hmm. I pay. If okay. you ask me out on a date, then okay, you look, should probably ask me what with the with the, the thought, thought that, that I would pay, pay but then but, I would look if you, know, you would pay. As a man, I'm still going to... Be a, yeah. And okay, then that's fair. if we decide yeah, together, hey, let's go out, then that's grounds for a split. Mm-hmm. But nothing should be assumed ever. Mm-hmm. I always have your little that's extra me, cash yeah. on the side just in case. Ooh, my get back money. Of course. Yeah, just of always course. have a little cash on the side. But it's like, if I ask you, I should be expecting to pay if you ask me. Even like if I ask you or someone like to say like to to a concert, I'm like, oh, I got tickets to a concert. That's me technically paying so for the day. However, if we had I would concert, like for you to take initiative to buy me food yeah, buy at the food concert. Or drinks or something. Yes. Like, you know, you I think to, that's fair. Yeah, you know, should be shouldn't be implied in a sense, but it's like yeah, always yeah, 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 like I guess it's common courtesy point. should yes. happen in there. Somewhere and I'm gonna there. look at you sideways, and then I'm not gonna go on a date with you again because mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, I got the tickets. Like, so fellas, could you feed me? Give fellas, me something to eat. Fellas, walk with your money. Huh? Walk with your money. Well, your of money. course, but you no, know, I spend a month for now. Walk with their money. Okay, so if a man takes you on a date and mm-hmm. he asks you to split the bill, what's your first thought? Oh! 
Oh, we're not going out again. We're not going out again. That's it. Uh, I feel like I'm contradicting again with the non-traditional uh, thing. But you know, you asked me out on a date. Why are we splitting? Why are we splitting? I don't feel in the splitting thing with the man. Is it that you're going to pay for it? I just pay for it. And don't split till the way to oh, um, hey, yo, me personally, split the bill. No. Me what? personally, I would never say, yo, split that. No. Because if I have to save up for the week, to be able to fund the entire day, I'm gonna do that. If I have to go to eat ramen noodles for the next two, three days, yeah. because I had to cover yeah, that, like, I'm gonna do that like, because there's nothing more embarrassing than saying, hey yo, split that. Split, because yeah, now, I'm like, no, you should like, and machine. I get, it's a kind of bad look <laughs> in the way we think about it, but it's basically showing a woman like, you not. Just take care of it. You not able to provide in a sense and. Although it's always fashion as a song and it's yeah, like I feel like some, yeah. to the current norms, it's like you still don't want to go out like that, man. You Certain tradition like just just non changeable. Yeah. It just you. some tradition just have to stay. Yeah. As I said, it could be like to say, Okay, you pay for this mm -hmm. meal now, we do something else and I might take initiative to put in a piece of something. So you go get back that thing. Right. You know what I'm saying? If you go on a date with a man, his car declined while paying. What's up? Jesus, have mercy. I don't know. I've never been, I've never been in that situation. Would you, would you, would you cover it and, and be like, <laughs> would you cover it and be like, it's okay, I got you type thing? I would. And then what? If, if I could, I would. It and, depends on, on what. Obviously, okay. If it is that it's a service type of date, like to say it is something a service, not like a product. Mm -hmm. Then we already did it, so it's like I have no choice but to pay for it right now because mm -hmm. we already went through with the service. Yeah, I could go in the back and so watch had things to, together. Uh uh. So <laughs> I'd have to, and hopefully, he pays women who who yeah he pays me back, <laughs> or women who end up in this situation actually have the the, the money to 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 do that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like yeah, I can get Vic's money. That's the, one of the purposes. Mm -hmm. So it's like, okay, I will. I'm sure I would like an explanation as to why your card declined, sir. Like, I would expect you, you to you, check your funds before you work, take me on work a messed date. up the payroll, so it's... No, but I would like for you, before we enter yeah. on this date, you, you know see what, you what your bank account looks you know like. Funny? I read this tweet one time. It was like, niggas be waiting until midnight. Like, they go on a date late and they just sit and talk to them at night because the direct deposit coming Did in that, on Friday. Did men do that? I, I don't know. Like, I don't know if the tweet was a real situation. Like, but like, like for the pay stuff to, to, yeah, to, like to, to drop they, the deposit to They sit there drop? and then they wait till midnight because uh -huh. the direct deposit happening at midnight. Holy smokes. That's dangerous. Living, Yo, <laughs> that dangerous is dangerous living. and no. I would nah. like for you to make sure you know what your phones look like before nah. you take me on a date. And be real with me. About don't take me somewhere where you know you can't afford. Mm -hmm. Like let me know from the jump to say like, oh, we're going to do this or that, and let me judge to say it. Okay, we're affordability. Yeah, so like, they're affordability. real. If a man takes you on a date uh -huh. and you know he's paying for it, okay, are you mindful and conscious about what you order? Do you order a hamburger um, or do you go for the eight ounce steak? First of all, if you're taking me to a steakhouse, you expect me to buy steak. Not mm -hmm. necessarily that I want like. Yeah, but the girl okay. diet is so what. So take you to the steakhouse. Do you do the steak lobster combo or do you just do the steak? If I feel for steak and lobster, I'm gonna get a steak. And okay, lobster. so basically you just order what you want. You're not like okay, let me not. Get I'm too conscious. Expensive. I'm not going to buy the. It's like what I would usually get for myself. Uh -huh. Cause I know some women. They say like when they do that, they 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 you they'll have like money? a salad uh -uh. To, to, be like, to be like, yo, I don't want I'm spending too much. Uh -uh. I said when I'm on a date, I like to be full so that I could talk right. to you. Open. <laughs> so I'm not gonna eat no damn salad. <laughs> no, so, so sir. you're not conservative with what you get. You get I what am, you feel for it. I didn't say I wasn't conservative, but I'm not gonna get no salad because okay. I don't eat salad for fun unless it comes with my meal, and I'm gonna eat the salad first, then I'm gonna have my meal. Because another, uh, another rule that I like to apply is they don't order anything more expensive than what he ordered. But I'm going to order first. Or he would allow me to order first. Mm -hmm. I would think that. So it's like, if you're taking... Because so, I know some women, they'd be like, what you getting? No. And I've asked women, and they said the reason why they ask that is because they want to look at the price and then gauge. Like, like, it's a lot of it's a lot of thinking that goes on behind the scenes. Really? With this thing, apparently. I'm a me, different type of woman. Me, 
And I see something that I like, me can order it, me can eat it, and you have to pay for it. So what is it? You have women paying for your dates? What are you talking about? I've had women pay for dates before, but I'm going to order. What I'm saying is, if it's me, you take me on a date, then I'm ordering what I want to eat, not ordering price base. Oh, so anyways, I'm a different type of woman. Mm -hmm. If you take me to a steakhouse, I'm going to get, you must can afford the steak. (laughs) If you're taking me to... Uh, a, a casual burger type place. Mm-hmm. You must can afford the Angus burger. So okay, just just gauge wherever he takes you. You're gauging to say like, I'm sure at least hopefully he looked at what the menu looked like mm-hmm. before. I'm not ordering three 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 different um entrees. If I feel for a steak, I'm going to get a steak. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I'm not going to, like, pig out. Because I don't usually pig out. But it's like, I feel like I'm reasonable enough, but I'm not going to cut down what I would usually get. What you usually get. Yeah, like, so you, just you took me same, here. Right? It's the same thing. Basically. Yeah, just, I'm just, I'm just, yeah, I'm conscious still. So you're just I'm going to cut the, the place that you Whatever, you're yeah, whatever exactly. Okay. Okay. So, stepping into the subsection of affordability. Okay. <laughs> does the cost of the date hold weight? It does not. It does not. No. So, a uh, walk in a park holds the same value as a three hundred dollar date to you. Yeah, because I might get more a better feel uh, of the person you are. Mm-hmm. I, I maybe enjoy my sa- myself way better better on that walk date to say like we're walking, we we'll order like from a food truck, we order hot dogs, and we're just cracking up, having jokes, enjoying each other's time. Next thing you know, we're opening up to each other about family stuff, um, mental okay. type of stuff. Like, so, yeah, the value, so, so the value of a date is relative. There's value no, but not the value. True, but not to say that I wouldn't want. Well, it depends on the woman. Because mm-hmm. it's like, I like to dress up. So mm-hmm. I don't want you to take me on hot dog dates all the time. Hot dog right. dates are cool and fun to walk around and eat and stuff because we enjoy each other's company. But like... I want to be dressy and classy sometimes too, so no. switch it up. But I don't feel like one date type of date or the expense of one date holds more weight than the other, depending on price. I do not believe that. Okay, fair no. enough. Yeah. What about you? Fair about? enough. I mean, with me, it's like they can be different. They can be value phone and all days of all values, like. You could have a $50 plan date to be the most magnificent thing ever because it fulfills the, it checks off the check boxes that the person mm-hmm. was looking for, right? So I guess the major factor behind the dates is a planned intent. Like exactly. you put some thought into it because okay. we can go to the park for free, but then I could spend three hours home cooking, making little snacks and eats for the park. And then it's like, okay, you put some thought and effort into this. So now the value, even mm-hmm. though it's not monetary value, yeah. it increases the value of the overall date. Yeah, cause- Where it's like, I can literally, like, if I take you on a $300 date, it's like I just hit Google and say, okay, we're going to do this the restaurant. The most expensive there. restaurant you could find. Turns out she only even likes sushi. And it's okay, yeah. Like sushi restaurant. It's just like, what the hell? Or some small meal. I'm hungry. Like, yeah, they put, a little, they put a little cut of steak in this. Like, yeah. you know, and they start you $300 for it, and then it's just like, do you even know me? I yeah. like to eat a lot. You carry me to this place where you have a small amount of service, and then you get stuff, right? So, there is like no thought, no intent behind the date, so it doesn't hold the same value because it's not fulfilling in what she values. Ooh, exactly. Right. See, as opposed, to the, as opposed to the park, you probably take me like the late afternoon golden hour. And so it's like the beautiful sunset, you can pictures. You just, it's like, oh, it's a good day. So, yeah. That's a good point. Right. So, what's the general advice that we can give people today about dates? First, second date, Gage, don't matter. Learn to talk want. to the person. Conversations save you a lot of time and trouble. Yes. If you talk to the person on the first date, you kind of figure out the person they are, and then you can decide whether you want to go much further on your... You know, some first dates, if they go bad, they do deserve a second date. 
get out of your comfort zone right you can see things. you can see you can gauge how a person's reaction to certain situation depending on the date like to say like um their level of aggression on let's say an adventurous type mm -hmm. of date to see like is this person like way too competitive because you have a situation like that where the person is too competitive it's like when we go to the arcade and we play mario karts yeah but it's fun <laughs> competition but yeah. then you have some people like you can gauge their reaction to certain things and certain situations yeah like, like you get to know a lot of things about a person by switching up so not too much restaurant dates yeah restaurants are cool and fun and you know you get to eat and get drunk a little bit mm -hmm. but like take take people out of their comfort zone to see how they react fellas don't split the bill yeah do not do that please don't do that and <laughs> when you're going on dates put some thought into it that goes for both men and women women don't just expect that you know he wants to go to the ball game you know Put some intent to it if you want to get him the matching jerseys or some. Like, Ooh, you know, some man wouldn't like that. Think yeah, that's corny. Yeah. Nah, just not everybody I'm likes just that. Just saying, put some thought into it. You know, just sure. put some thought okay. into it. Have some intent behind it. Yeah, yeah, and don't don't make don't make dating about like rules or oh I'm not supposed to do this or that. Just yeah, uh, get a feel of the person and just do. It. That's uh -huh. it. Yeah. I know for the question of the day oh we got a question for the day oh guys remember always send us question after every podcast Boy. okay let's hear this question uh, <laughs> this question i'm assuming the person was anonymous but um the question was hey guys question for the next episode do you believe there is any hope in dating a married man who loves you and has been sharing the same oh, sorry and has not been sharing the same bed or room in the house with his wife for years but he decides to stay a little longer for the sake of their child until the child becomes a teen and is a little more responsible about two years from now explain first of all this sound like a CXC <laughs> so exam how much marks is this question worth <laughs> you know what I mean first of all don't be involved with married men yeah, first of Period. all, save yourself. Like, you're a whole person, a whole individual. You deserve somebody whole for yourself. Yes. Um, obviously, I don't know the situation. I'm not there. I'm not living. I'm not sure, sure or aware of how he makes you feel or how he feels. But, but I feel, I as cliche as it sounds, there is someone there for everyone, and you deserve someone that's going to be completely and only for you. And Obviously, you don't want to go and ruin the entire dynamic of. Yeah, it's not like it's a it's a it's, it's a boyfriend like it's, and girlfriend yeah. type of situation. That's a marriage. And it's not that you're only taking him from the wife, but you're potentially from taking him from the child. And there's a but, ton of hatred and bad blood that can stem yeah. from that. Oh, it's so, not just about the woman, obviously, because it's like the man is the one who made mm -hmm. the vote to his family. But we've heard this before. This is this is so cliche. You've heard that before, like, oh, um, he's trying to stay for the kids so they don't sleep in the same bed. Yeah, boo-hoo, all that. Like, sometimes you got to be real rough-footed and be straightforward with it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? This is a marriage, not some, some common relationship. No, don't be waiting, sitting around like, oh, two years. Um, he's going to wait until the kid is older. No, like, drop that, move on with life. Yeah, he's Period. He, he may Period. love you, but you need to love yourself more. Yeah, like, so. get out of that. Like, it's never that worth it. And get someone completely for you, and you own. And you own it. That's it. Like, I ain't even got nothing else to say about that. It's just like we've heard, you've heard stuff like that before. And before that is yeah. a wrap. Yay. So, you guys can check us out on... The streaming platform, Spotify, and Apple, Apple Podcasts. Podcasts. And no, we are on Google Podcasts as well. All under the name, the He Say, She Say Podcast. Is it the He Say, She Say? The space, He Say, She Say, all one word, okay. podcast. Oh, it's okay. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Um, Our YouTube channel. You guys have been showing love with the downloads and the subscribers. Yes, love, keep love downloading. Love. We love you guys so much. And <laughs> the video version will be available on YouTube at CS Together on YouTube. You can follow us on Instagram, Island Poppy with the underscore, Twitter, Island Poppy with the underscore. And at me, every single place, it's at Damn That Chef. Because Damn That, that Chef. chef. <laughs> hey! Hey, yo, but so, remember, y'all. Yeah. Uh, oh, and I always ooh, the like, Instagram page, we. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. And you can follow us on, you can follow the podcast Instagram page, the, he, sorry. It's at me. underscore he say she say podcast yeah. at underscore he say she say podcast mm -hmm. and remember there is always light if you are brave enough to see it if only you are brave enough to be it
Oh. Shout out to Amanda Gorman. Y'all have a blessed week. Love you guys. Bye, guys. Forever. Baby, me love when you wind on the pipeline. Mm-hmm. Me lady, believe me, me love you, me lifeline. Mm-hmm.